Hello, this is Dr. Rosie Kuhn, and this podcast series is called Aging Like a Guru. Who, me? So today, this podcast, I want to talk about uh, choice making. How do you choose to choose what you choose? I forever have chosen from the, the, the foundation of, be- of belief that I'm wrong. <laughs> so I don't know about you. I know a lot of clients who come in to see me, they start from the foundation of that they're wrong. And what they want to do is prove that they're not wrong when they truly believe they're wrong, even though they're doing something that's right. I know that sounds kind of wacky, but it's actually true that even though this foundation of my being says I'm wrong, I'm actually functioning, very high functioning and doing a lot of things right. But that part of me that still believes I must be wrong, especially when I'm in conflict with other people or my opinion or my perspective interpretations are different than others. I'm a, uh, my default is to go to I'm wrong and they're not. And the truth is, is neither of us, none of us are wrong. We just have a different way of being in the world, a different way of seeing or interpreting the world. And, uh, and so that plays a role in, in every part of our life, but especially when we're in the process of aging, because we're given a lot of opportunities to make choices that impact on how we view ourselves and how we view our aging. So for instance, um, uh, Medicare is a big deal, um, and and insurance in terms of uh, long term insurance, healthcare, all of those things play a, uh, play a role in how we interpret re- reality, how we interpret life, what we, how do we make decisions? So for me, when I was sixty five, um, and Medicare is an automatic here in the United States. Um, Medicare plan A is what I was given, and then you have options in how you're going to do. Plan B, Plan C, Plan D. And these all offer, you know, more support for um, medicines or doctor doctor's visits or whatever. And I I looked at how I be in the world, what's true for me. And the truth is, is that I don't go see doctors. I don't go for checkups. I don't go for colonoscopies or mammograms. I don't do that, not because I'm ignorant or irresponsible. But my, my interpretations of my self and my body is that um, that doesn't work for me. I don't need to do that. I don't get sick and I take really, really good care of my body and I don't want to impose um, um, procedures on it that I don't want to impose on it. I, that's just my choice. So in the thought of plan B or plan C to spend my money uh, for insurance, uh, I'm choosing to say, no, I'm not going to do that. Now, people aren't going to like that. People are going to think that's stupid or irresponsible. For me, that's um, more responsible for me because what I'm going to do or what I am doing and have been doing for the last couple of years is increasing the supplements that I take. I take a very high quality of supplements that supports my system in taking care of itself. The other thing is, and more importantly, is my my interpretation, how I see my body and its abilities to heal itself, it's foundational to how I be in the world. So uh, what I know is that our cells are constantly, um, there's constant um, new uh, bacteria or funguses that enter my body that my body, my cells take care of. Uh, there's um, anomalies, there's uh, dysfunctionings of little tiny trillions of cells that that my body and my cells take care of. My body, when I'm giving it what it needs, can take care of itself and heals itself really, really well. It's when I'm living in um, a stressful situation, stressful in terms of um, um, uh, worrying or negative thoughts or negative emotions or environment where my um, the air is toxic or the people are toxic. So where I'm, where I create toxicity in my life, I'm more likely to get um, um, some sort of dis-ease or illness. My belief is that we are energy beings and when we get sick, it's because energy, energy gets stuck. And so I want to focus on that versus waiting till I get tumors or other illnesses. So I take care of myself early in a preventative way. And I work with energy medicine um, all the time. And so that for me is also a preventative way. So my point here is not 
not anything more than two things. One, um, looking at how you operate of your choice making. Do you operate from I'm wrong? (laughs) I can't trust myself to be right. I can't trust myself to know. Or do you operate from no, I do know and I am willing to stand in my knowing and make choices based on that. So this this week I've been on uh, holiday. I've been on on um, on vacation, and I've been reading uh, the book I mentioned uh, last uh, in our last podcast called Radical Remission by Kelly Turner, and she's interviewed thousands of people who had radical remissions, and how they chose to choose uh, their uh, their oper- you know how they're going to. Um, move forward with their with their disease. Some of them had surgery and and chemo and um and radiation and some people didn't. But she she mentions nine different things that people do do. Every single person uses um in in having a radical remission. And uh so in listening and listening listening with my head and my heart to what these people are saying I've come to a really clear choice for myself to say, if I get sick with a tumor, I will not have surgery. I will not have chemo. I will not have radiation. I won't. And even though I knew that in my heart before reading this book, um, I was still afraid that I might be wrong. But in looking at at the fearlessness of these people, or even when they were fearful, but courageous enough to really truly listen to their bodies and know its abilities to heal itself with the support of of um of of you the being inside you know it's wholly possible to to bring about these radical remissions it takes responsibility and dedication to be in this process with oneself to to choose to know your truth to choose to know to live into that truth so this week my daughter was visiting and I said, hey, I want you to know that if I were ever to get tumors, I'm not going to have surgery or radiation or chemo. And she said, I, I, I knew that about you. And I said, yeah, I knew that about me too, but I wasn't clear that I, was, um, that I could actually do that because I was still afraid I might be wrong. And now I know that I'm not, I'm not wrong. I'm not wrong because this is what's true for me. So what's true is is that no matter how no matter what your position is in the world people are going to judge you as wrong or silly or stupid or ir- irrational or irresponsible there will be people who will who will see you that way and and it's just the way the world is there are people who will always disagree with you and do you take a stand for yourself or do you take a stand for uh, what other people think, what other people know, what pe- what other people say. The if you if you are in a state of illness or disease to whatever degree, if you look at alternatives to 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 our Western medicine, we see that there's so many possibilities um, to supplement our Western medicine or to to um, move it in a different direction. Um, we want to, I want to bring about more awareness of what people are conscious of, what people are capable of, when they can empower themselves to choose for themselves. One of the elements of radical remission that were re- was really important is people took responsibility and they empowered themselves in this process, even though they were choosing potentially, particularly um, um, our normal um normal protocol for cancer, they still took a, a, a responsibility. They still took a role rather than um, submitting and feeling helpless to the doctors and uh, powerless to their, to their cancer. They took, uh, took responsibility and empowered themselves. And that was in itself a boost to the, human, uh, to the immune system. It's pretty fascinating. So I highly recommend this book, whether you're sick or somebody else is sick, or you're just, this is a very good book for aging. Anybody who's aging, which is all of us, I think it's really helpful. So my whole point in this is seeing how you look at yourself in life and how you look at yourself in terms of this part that says, um, I'm wrong, or I can't, I can't trust that I'm going to make a good decision here. And really choosing to sit with your inner guru, sit with your inner knowing, 
and or support yourself with talking to other people who um, can hear you from a perspective of uh, alternatives and not just, um, you know, the one way and only way. I truly support you in, in making the choice to have radiation or surgery or chemo. If that's in your heart, what you know to be true, totally support you in that. And um, it's just a matter of wanting you to choose from that place of your heart, from your inner knowing to, to, to ensure your wholeness as best you can. If you have any interest in the supplements I take, um, you can uh, see them on my website. It's ASEA uh, is the, the name of the product, A-S-E-A. I have a, a link on my website and also on the Podbean w- website. And um, if you're interested in my books, uh, Self-Empowerment 101 or uh, some of the others, uh, please go to my website and look at those or Amazon. Uh, or I have blogs and videos that you're welcome to see also on my website uh, at theparadigmshifts.com. All right. Thanks very much. Big hugs. Blessings. Bye for now. Mm-hmm.